Today on Sci Guys, Cloud in a Bottle. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Adam. On today's episode, we're going to be putting a cloud in a bottle. And I'm going to make the thunder. That's not that kind of cloud. It'll work, I promise. Condensation is the change of the physical state of matter from a gas phase into a liquid phase and is the opposite of evaporation. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes an empty plastic bottle. We'll be using a one liter bottle, but you can use any size you want. Some rubbing alcohol, make sure to get a high percentage. A bike pump. Alternatively, you can use a foot pump for an air mattress. Just make sure you get a complete seal on your bottle. And a cork with a nail hole pushed through it. You can see how we did this in our water bottle rockets episode. The safety equipment we're going to need for today's episode includes an apron or lap coat, gloves, and goggles. Also, since we're dealing with high pressures, make sure to never point the bottle at anything that is alive or fragile. The first step in your experiment is to take your empty bottle and you're rubbing alcohol and pour just a little bit of rubbing alcohol into the bottle. Just add enough that it covers the bottom of the bottle. Now put the lid back on your bottle and shake it around a whole bunch to coat the inside of the bottle. The next steps are best done with a partner. First, thread the needle of your bike pump into your cork. Then, with your bottle on a stable surface, place the cork firmly into the top and hold it with a strong grip. Then get your partner to start pumping. You'll know you're done pumping when the sides of the bottle feel firm when squeezed. Once you've had enough air, quickly remove the cork out of the bottle. Let's try that one more time, this time with a black background. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Rubbing alcohol is made up of isopropyl alcohol molecules and water molecules. Rubbing alcohol comes in different concentrations. The higher the percent on the bottle, the more alcohol molecules for every water molecule there are in a set volume. When we add the rubbing alcohol to the bottle and shake it around, we're spreading it out and coating the inside surfaces of the bottle. This increases the surface area of the alcohol, which will make it easier for the pressure change in the bottle to affect the molecules. When we pump air into the bottle, we're adding air molecules, increasing the pressure inside the bottle, and as the pressure increases, the temperature increases. The increased pressure and temperature evaporates the alcohol and water molecules into a gas. When we suddenly release the cork, the air molecules rush out of the bottle, suddenly lowering the pressure and temperature inside the bottle. This quick drop in temperature causes the alcohol and water to quickly condense. Normally when a gas condenses, it needs a surface to stick to, but the shock of the sudden release in pressure causes the alcohol to condense in the air, creating a cloud of alcohol in the bottle. In nature, clouds are created when warm air rises, causing its pressure to reduce. As the pressure drops, the temperature drops. When the temperature drops below a special point known as the dew point, the water molecules condense and attach to particles in the air like pollution, smoke, and dust, creating clouds. If we increase the pressure in the bottle again by adding more air, the cloud will evaporate and disappear. When the cork is removed once again, the gas will quickly condense back into a cloud. Well, that's it for Cloud in a Bottle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. I really wish we could have brought the lightning. Well, that's a different experiment. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents permission before you share any photos or videos.